welcome back to my channel. My name is Shelby and I'm here with my friend Alyssa. And today we are going to be showing you Nova Southeastern University. This is super exciting because we're like the first ones to ever show the campus from a student's perspective. So we're going to show you guys where you're going to be taking classes, where you're going to be eating, where you're going to be studying, where you're going to be hanging out with your friends. So we are going to put on our mask and we're going to go inside the buildings. So this is DeSantis. This is where you're going to be taking most, if not all, your classes. There's four levels to this building and we will go show you guys what the classrooms look like. And then off to the corner too, there's Einstein's and that's where a lot of kids get breakfast. So let's go. So this is one of the classrooms here. Um, this is probably one of the bigger ones. They're typically around this size. And as you see, there is like the COVID spacing. So they're not being full to capacity right now, but this is what a classroom looks like. So this is the Parker building. This is where all of the science classes take place and some other ones that they just need extra room for that can't fit in DeSantis. So we're not gonna be going in there, but the classrooms are very similar in size, except the desks are like the ones you see in high school where they're just wooden and then a chair, and yeah. So now we're at the bookstore. Um, the books in here, kind of expensive, but there's other options, you know, I recommend going online for your books, but there's also other cool things in here like school apparel and anything you might need throughout the school year, so let's go inside and go see what they have. So we actually made a purchase, both of us. <laughs> we got this blue hoodie, um, super popular at Nova Southeastern University. Ten out of ten. Oh yes. Recommend. Super soft polyester fabric. Might be cotton. Who knows? But <laughs> super cute, and we love it. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. So now we're at the library. This is personally my favorite place to study. There is five different floors, but the fifth floor is under construction. So there's really only four. We're gonna go in there, and I'm also gonna show you guys where the computers are, where you can print things out, and where more classrooms are, and my favorite places. So let's go inside. Arguably one of the best places on campus. This is the UC. In here, you have the dining hall, you have the recplex, which is the gym, and then you also have Outtakes, which is a convenience store, as well as Starbucks and another little like acai bowl smoothie place. So I'm gonna go show you guys what's inside here. Grocery store on campus has everything you could ever need. If you need something in the, in the middle of the night, come over here. <laughs> it's open 24 7. Yeah. So I'm currently in Razor's Creek, which is where everyone dines, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. This is the only dining hall on campus. 
so if you need to get food, you're gonna have to come here and get it. <laughs> so there was a lot of different options though. There's vegan options, there's vegetarian options. They like to mix it up and keep things fresh and new. And yeah, I've enjoyed eating here a lot. So now we are in Starbucks and the Smoothie Cafe. This is the best place to get coffee on campus. <laughs> um, it used to be the only place, well, this is the only place now to get coffee on campus because they shut down all the other smaller kiosks that no longer serve coffee. So if you need coffee or you need to pick me up throughout the day, you can come to Starbucks and check it out. This is the pit. This is the best place to hang out on campus with your friends during lunch, or dinner, or whatever. Everyone hangs out here. They study, they eat, they just chill. They sit here in between classes and this is just a really cool place to be. for students on campus that are commuter students or on campus so everybody can come and use it. They have a lot of equipment and it is really fun to come and work out here. They have lots of various hours in the morning, the evening, and the afternoon so you can fit it within your schedule and your classes and all that. And there's also a pool in the back but we will not be going there today but there is one and there's also lots of different studios and different workout rooms where they have classes and instructors come and they do yoga, they do the bikes, they do a lot of different things, so come and check it out sometime. We're now at the most famous place to do a fins up, which is the Shark Fountain. So if you don't know what a fins up is, it's like Nova's little saying, um, you just do a fins up whenever you're excited or happy, so fins up. <laughs> Alright, so behind me is one of the three dorm options for upperclassmen. This is Founders. This also includes Farquhar and Cultural Living Center, CLC, which we're not going to show you today, but just know that these are various different dorm options that you can live in when you're an upperclassman. Alrighty, so behind me is one of the two options freshmen get to live in. This is the Commons Residence Hall. This has two room layouts. You can either be in a quad or you can be in a three single double. So there's various different options. I lived in a quad my first year, which meant that there was four singles and I shared a bathroom with one other person, but I lived with four people. So that means that there's two bathrooms in every single one of these dorms. Um, Super fun place to live. I loved it. I loved the privacy. I loved being able to have my own room, but then still being able to live with my friends. So, super fun place. I love the commons. Okay, so this is the second option for freshmen. This is the Leo Goodwin Hall. This is only for freshmen. Um, I actually stayed here during Shark Preview Weekend. It has two bunk beds on each side. Three students live in here um, and they share one bathroom. It's really fun, it's a good time uh, to make a lot of connections, to get closer to your friends. So this is a great option for students. I'm a commuter student. There's also some cool places if you're a commuter and you're thinking about coming to NSU. The Office of Orientation has a commuter lounge that you can go to and you can definitely make a lot of friends through that as well. Hall. This is Mako Hall. This building is only two years old, so it is brand new. The different living options are a single, a studio, a quad, and a double. So you have a lot of different options to choose from. I personally live in a double and I love it. So in Mako, you get your own washer and dryer. You also get your own full-size fridge and you also get a dishwasher. So it is equipped with the best appliances and it is honestly the best dorm i've ever seen at any university so i have filmed multiple videos of my room tour and moving into mako hall so if you want to see any of that if you want to see the commons i also did a room tour of that and moving in there so go check them out on my channel after you're done watching this video of course <laughs> Alrighty guys, I hope you enjoyed this video of me and Alyssa giving you a tour of NSU. If you liked it, please make sure to like and comment down below. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more college videos from me in the future. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Bye.